Hey guys, it's Seth with Stage Right. Um, today we're going to do a quick lesson on the open chords, open major chords. Uh, we're just going to run through A um, through G, so that way you have a good base for basically being able to play any song. Um, and these are all going to be in the same position. So um, let's cut in close and show you how that looks. All right, so the first open chord we're going to show you here is A major. Um, you're going to play it with uh, your middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger all in the second fret on your third, fourth, and fifth string down, and you're going to play your bottom five strings to make up that open A. Now for B major, there's two different ways you can play this. Um, one way is just moving that A shape up two frets and fretting on the second fret your bottom, your sixth string, with your index finger and playing those bottom four strings. And that's usually an uncommon way for people to play B major, so what most people will do is just play the B major power chord. So to do that, you're going to put your index finger on the second fret, second string, and then with your ring finger and pinky finger, you're going to go to the fourth fret on your third and fourth strings. Play those three, those three strings. Now for your C major, you're going to go um, with your ring finger on the third fret, second string down, middle finger, second fret, third string, and with your index finger, you're going to go first fret, um, fifth string, so you're going to skip over your G string, your fourth string there, and go to your, your fifth string on the B, and you're going to strum the bottom five strings, sound like this. Now for D major, um, with your index finger on your fourth string on the second fret, middle finger, second fret, sixth string, ring finger, third fret, and you're, you're going to uh, you're going to fret your fifth string, and you're going to play the bottom four chords for this open D. Now for E. You're going to use your middle finger and your ring finger on the second and third string on your second fret, and then with your index finger, you're going to put it on the first fret on your fourth string, your G string, and you're going to play all six strings, strum all of them for this chord. Now F major, it's going to be really similar to your C major. Um, you're going to put your index or uh, your ring finger on the third fret, third string middle finger, second fret, fourth string, and index finger, first fret, fifth string, and then you're also going to bar that with that index finger, the bottom string, your sixth string, on that first fret as well. So it'll sound like this. You're going to play the bottom four strings, by the way. So that's your F major. Now the only one left is your G major. You're going to use your middle finger on the third fret, um, top string, index finger, second string, second fret, and you're going to skip the rest of the strings and go down to your bottom string, your sixth string, with your ring finger, and you're going to strum all six strings for this chord as well. Alright, so those are all, um, not all, but most of the open chords that you're going to need to know for most songs that you're going to want to learn. Um, and the reason those are important is because uh, it's, it's, it's one position that you can stay in and be able to play a lot of chords. Um, you know, A through G, that's a lot of, you know, that's seven chords that you can play through just staying in that one spot. Um, so that's going to help you beginners to be able to get into playing songs right away, no matter what chords are in them, because now you know A through G. Um, so yeah, just uh, practice those and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching.